Welcome to part two of how to play the guitar solo from Brighton Rock on the Queen album Live Killers. Uh, we did part one last week. The link for that video is in the description of this video. We'll be doing this in three parts, so next week we'll do the final part of how to play the guitar solo. So we enter here with the section that comes after the drum solo on the album. I've turned the volume down on the guitar for this so it has more of a clear sound and we have something like this. So, something like that. I've just stopped saying something like that because I on the last video I see it, I see it an awful lot. But we're starting off with bar on the 7th, our little finger on the 10th fret of the B string. And we're going to play that. Then on the B string, the G and the D. We're then going to play the 7th fret of the A string in the open E string, so we're going to do this. Move into the 9th frets of the D and G and we'll do something like this. The guitar tab is obviously on the screen to uh, direct things. Um, instead of shouting out all of the fret names because it's such an epic and long guitar solo it makes things a lot easier just to do it like that. We now come to the section which personally is my favourite part of the solo. We start off with this part. I suppose it's based on B minor a uh, scale shape. I'll play that again through slowly. We have to be careful on getting the phrasing right on that second half. The first half being straightforward. The second part is Similar phrase but ends differently. Starts off the same though. I'll play that again. And then this section, which is straightforward run. Do that again. Yeah. We then come to this part. Yeah. I'll play that again. Kind of can be a little bit tricky getting the phrase right, so listen to the record and play along with the record to get it exactly right. section yeah. we're making sure that our picking is very kind of thin I'll do that again Next we have play that again through slowly. Almost playing it in groups of three notes that bit. And 
you then finish the phrase off with with this. I'll play that through again. So that section should sound like this. Remember not to say something like this. <laughs> Sorry, start again. Two little minor errors there, but on the whole, that's what it should sound like. Then after that, we've obviously got the open E. So on the open E, it's one and two and three and four, as you can see in the guitar tab. We then have third frets. I'll play that again. Just open eight to third fret. Open eight to second fret. Open D to second fret. Open G and the second fret of D. So that continuing with our We're going to play the same phrase again, but instead of going to the third fret of the bottom E string, we're going to the second. So we should have that. We then come to this section. The little, little parts of it I found a little bit tricky. Um, I remember as a 14 year old looking at the Brian May guitar, Super Rock guitarist guitar tab for this, which this is mainly based on, uh, and finding this section just almost impossible to understand. We've got something like that goes like this. That's the first one. But then we have this. I'll play this through slowly as the guitar tab reads out in the book. to go Sorry. like that um, we then have this section I've adapted I've changed the guitar tab for this for me which makes it easier to play I'll play it through slowly then I'll play it through um, the way I kind of tackle it so on the eighth fret of the B string and we're using the ninth and seventh frets of the G. Now that phrase, which is going to be played three times. Then four times, we're moving from the B string, we're going to go eight, nine, seven, nine on the G. So we should have. Play that four times. We then go back to our original uh, phrase. Finishing off with. All together, played slowly. That section should sound like this.
I'm inclined to play it something like this. <laughs> which is a wing in it, I suppose, but on that section I kind of just go and then on the next section I go which kind of gets because it is very fast. I think the guitar tab book had that movement elsewhere which I found a little bit difficult. So I hope that explains it um, okay. I would like to be able to explain it better, but uh, that, that's what we've got so far. We then move to this section, again playing it through slowly. Play that through again. I suppose we should have some, dare I say, something that sounds like this. I'd like to be able to play that better, I need to probably work on it a little bit more. As we go from the 7th fret of the A with that, we're going to move to an E. I'll play that section through. Really I'm just moving from an E. Then I'm going to play this section, another one of them that I really like. Bottom E string, sliding into the 7th fret, the same on the A, sliding into the 11th fret. Bend in the 15th up, bend and release the 14th of the high E. We then have this section. through again, really taking this in groups of two, it's probably the best way of explaining it. The section should sound something like this.
I'll move on to our next section, which goes like this. <laughs> Too slow. The guitar tab is pretty straightforward for this one, doing it in groups of three. We then play this phrase. I'll play that through again. I'll play that through again. through again properly. So this section should sound like this. section is like this. It's pretty straightforward. We're bending the 17th up with the high A, moving to the 15th, 17th of B, bending that up, 15th, and the 17th up of the G. I'm really going to do that three times. We then have this section. So as always, I hope that helps you be able to play the second section of uh, the Brighton Rock guitar solo. Next week we'll have a look at the concluding part of the solo. That's the, uh, the bit that starts off. Obviously the concluding part of the solo, so as always, thank you for watching.